एंड वेलकम टू ब्रेन चाओ हिंदी आज हम रिएक्ट करने वाले हैं टेन अमेजिंग पाकिस्तानी इन्वेंशन एंड डिस्कवरीज और ये वीडियो है एफ टी डी फैक्ट जो बहुत ही बड़ा चैनल है सिक्स लैख से ज्यादा सब्सक्राइबर्स है आई थिंक इंटरनेशनल चैनल है तो ऐसा भी नहीं कि बहुत ही बायस्ड होने का चांस नहीं है सो लेट्स जो भी नॉलेज मिलेगा आई थिंक ट्रस्ट वर्दी है और चैनल का लिंक वीडियो का लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में होगा उनको सपोर्ट करो या लेट्स एंजॉय ओके इमरान खान का कोट दैट्स अ ग्रेट कोट या Although Pakistan was only established in August 1947, there's a rich history of science and culture within its borders. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here again on FTD Facts. I'm Leroy Kenton, and now this video was requested by one of our subscribers actually. UK Production sent us in an email with some amazing discoveries and inventions from Pakistan. So thanks man you're our official co-producer of this episode. We also throw in some inventions and discoveries that we did our own research on. So yeah. And like guys, let me know what achievement or achievements about your country makes you the most proud. Let me know down below. And if you also enjoy these FTD facts videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right, now let's take a look at non-explosive fertilizer. In 2013, a Pakistani firm invented a new formula to make fertilizers that cannot be converted into bomb-making materials. The firm, known as Fatima Fertilizer, had succeeded in making non-lethal alternatives to ammonium nitrate, a key ingredient in the fertilizers it makes. Previously, fertilizers with ammonium nitrate could be made into explosives. The Fatima group had come under fire before when it was found that ingredients from their factory were being used to make explosives. But good way for them to kind of spin that around. Uh. Now, have you heard of the Sagar Vina instrument? Let's take a look at that. Hello, this is Liam Neto Sunan. The Sagar Vina, it's a string instrument designed for use in classical music. And it was developed entirely in Pakistan over the last 40 years. This was done at the Sanjanagar Institute in Lahore by Raza Kazim. Now you take a look at it. It's a bulky instrument that has strings attached to two big round shells. It traditionally kept on the floor and played sitting down. It has been made famous in recent times by the likes of Noor Zira, who is the daughter of Raza Kazim. Our next invention is a hydro-powered generator. Rehan Aziz Farooqi, who is an engineer from Swat, he invented a generator that can not only run on water but it can also allow an engine, whether it's diesel, gas, or petrol, to run on water as well. The generator works by separating the hydrogen and oxygen found in water and converting them into viable energy sources. As hydrogen is extremely explosive, however, before it's released to the public, the inventor Rehan wants to make sure that there's no dangers. Continuing on, we have the Omeya Reservoir. This was named after a Pakistani neurosurgeon by the name of Ayub K Omeya. The Omeya Reservoir is a system that allows doctors to suck out cerebrospinal <laughs> fluid or inject drugs into the brain of a patient. It's used to treat brain tumors and leukemia. In the case of terminal cancer patients, it also allows doctors to inject morphine into their system so that they can feel some relief from their pain. 
अच्छा इन्वेंशन है बट uh, देखने को अजीब था Okay now this next one is like one of the biggest scientific words I have ever seen. I'm going to struggle pronouncing this so bear with me. The pleuroperitoneal shunt. Nailed it. Sayed Amjad Hussain, he's a doctor from Peshawar, Pakistan and he invented the pleuroperitoneal shunt. This surgically implanted catheter transports fluid from the pleural space which is a thin fluid filled space between the two membranes in the lungs. The fluid then goes into the peritoneal cavity in the lungs where it's absorbed which relieves breathlessness in patients. This is used to treat pleural effusions that happen to people with certain kinds of cancer in the chest. But Dr. Syed Hussain, he's not just a one trick pony. He's also invented a special endotracheal tube to supply oxygen during fiber optic bronchoscopy in patients that are awake. Yeah, ye sab dikhane ka kya zarurat hai? Okay, so let's take a look at a successful brain silicon chip connection. Dr. Nawib Sayed, a biomedical engineer and faculty of the University of Calgary, became the first scientist to connect brain cells to a silicon chip. The discovery was a major step in the research of integrating computers with the human brain. And this will help people control artificial limbs. It can monitor people's vital signs. What the fuck? It can correct memory loss as well as impaired vision. So yeah, it, it's life-changing on many aspects. The chip is expected to network brain cells and thus record brain cell activity at a resolution <laughs> never achieved before. The neurochips are also automated which means you wouldn't have to spend years training people on how to record activity in brain cells. We got three more inventions now and now we're looking at the HDI, the Human yes, Development Human Index. This was devised by a Pakistani economist by the name of Mahbub ul Haq in 1990. And it has a specific purpose to shift the focus of development economics from national income accounting to people-centered policies. This means that the HDI was meant to focus on health, education and living standards of areas to measure human development rather than the amount of income that they have. A country scores higher HDI when the lifespan is higher, the education levels are higher, as well as when the GDP per capita is higher. The next discovery was turning human waste to biological minerals. For many third world countries, the risk of contracting deadly diseases due to poor sanitation is a huge problem. In an attempt to fix this problem, a team headed by Professor Sohail Khan, a Pakistani researcher at Loughborough University, he designed a pretty clever laboratory that transforms human waste into biological charcoal and minerals. These can then be used as fuel or some sort of conditioner for soil. The facility also processes water to make sure that it's clean and consumable. Moving on now into the anti-terrorist algorithm. This was created by GoFig Solutions and they claim that this algorithm is able to predict where the next terrorist attack would occur simply based off of behavioral patterns and data mining. After the algorithm received a success rate of 35%, GoFig Solutions won the World Startup Cup competition. At the competition, Binish Bhagwani caught the attention of the Pakistani Startup Cup mentors early on with her positive and definite answers to their questions about the value proposition of GoFig Solutions to end terrorism. And finally, we have the SMB probe. Since its creation, nuclear power has created multiple disasters around the world. So in an attempt to counteract this problem, Sultan Bashiruddin Mahmud, he created the SMB probe, which is thought to reduce the chance of a nuclear disaster by a significant amount. The SMB probe's job is to keep power plant operations under control and check whether there are any heavy water leakages 
thereby reducing the possibility of accidents. And that concludes this episode of 10 Amazing Pakistani Discoveries and Inventions. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below and also leave your suggestions of any other video topics that you want us to make. Don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. <coughs> so, what was important thing that I was most impressed with that was the neural chip that could uh-huh. control limbs, artificial limbs. Control kar sakta. That is very important. Yeah. And I think that in the future, there will be a lot of important role in it. Especially, I am seeing that people want to put some headphones on the computer ko control kar paoge, without a mouse, mm-hmm. without a keyboard. If you want to listen to something, then it will be the future at last. Toh, but it is slightly scary. Bhi. Haan, but the uh, future is the And it is amazing to see that Pakistani contribution is there. Yes. And the rest of it important. Hai, jaise ki 35% success rate in detecting future terrorist attacks. attacks. That is great. 35% sound nahi karega itna zyada hai, but 35% agar rok pae, to bhi kitna lives save ho sakta. So, that is very impressive too. Aur kun sa impressive tha? Baut kuch tha, woh fertilizer ah, ka bhi impressive Yes, tha. definitely. Obviously, ye 10 amazing, ye video ka title hi woh hai, 10 amazing Pakistan so inventions. So, obviously, all 10 were amazing. Ah, but, uh, ye kuch cheeze mujhe baut hi zyada mm-hmm. impress kiya. I don't know. I just knew the HDI, the Human Development Index. I don't know that for some reason. But I read a lot about the HDI. I read a lot about the back story. So I knew that the Pakistani... Interesting, but we talk about HDI. We all know it. And I didn't know that... Pakistani. Yeah, so it was... Interesting, kafi kafi interesting tha video. Yeah. So very happy to see ki mujhe hamesha khushi hota hai jab bhi main Indians, Pakistanis ya Bangladeshis ko acha karte hue dekhta hu kuch ekdam scientific breakthroughs leke aa raha hai. Hamare region mein itna jana nahi jata ki recent times mein hum log kuch naya invent kar rahe hain. Hum log usually copy karte hain baaki logon ko. ये लोग टोटली अलग पाथ बना के खुद का कुछ बना रहे हैं तो वी शुड ऑल बी प्राउड ऑफ इट या हम लोग पाकिस्तानी नहीं है स्टिल वी आर प्राउड ऑफ इट आई एम श्योर कि आप लोग भी खुश होते हैं जब इंडिया में भी कुछ अच्छा होता तो दैट्स आवर सिमिलर फीलिंग्स यस दैट्स आवर नेबर्स आर नॉट ऑलवेज बट मतलब वी शुड बी या दैट इज आइडियल सिचुएशन और हम लोग अभी आप लोग को इतना अच्छे से जानते हैं, so हमारे लिए तो neighbours का मतलब ये हो चुका है कि friends basically. Yes, so we were very happy to see this video. Yeah. So. That's it for this video. See you next time. Bye bye.